What's going on everyone and welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel. Uh, you know we cover a fair amount of Tesla stuff on this channel. We have some new information about the new Tesla software update that was released what it offers and what you can expect pretty much. Before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's definitely appreciated. And if you're new or returning, make sure to hit that like button as well. It's appreciated. And if you want to show extra thanks and a little bit more support to the channel, you can hit that thanks button below this video. It should be like a little heart uh, and you can show your support in, in that way as well. You can also join, but we are on one of our reliable uh, sources as usual, Electric. Co. If you don't know, I'm in Florida. It's hot here right now. Like the other day, I was in my car, it was 98 degrees. So instead of doing this video in the car, I'd rather do it in the comforts of the air conditioned office I have here. So uh, we're going to go over these updates really quick. Tesla releases a huge new uh, software update with charging on solar, which is a big deal. A Spotify refresh and multi view and more. This is the biggest one to me charging on solar solar now this only applies to a select few does not apply to everyone as you can see right here it says charge your tesla with solar energy if you have a power wall if you do not have the power wall obviously you can't do that um but you can choose how much charge comes from your solar versus other sources it's not the car itself charging solarly but if you have that power wall yes you can tap into that solar power and use it if you do have that power wall like you see here it says to set it up open the tesla app from your vehicle not your uh phone tap on charge on solar message and follow the instructions and again this requires the powerwall version 23.12.10 and the tesla app version 4.22.5 spotify refresh they've refreshed spotify several times since i've had my car all for the better your spotify music playlist podcast audiobooks with a more familiar look and feel so i guess it's gonna a little bit more mirror that uh spotify app that are on your mobile devices a quick note on that i will say tesla's premium connectivity i've said this in my video before it is not so premium i struggle getting my stuff connected sometimes because the connectivity is just not there like i rarely have signal sometimes it works great in wi-fi but when you're just on the road and you're using a wi-fi signal from the car only, not your house or anything. That premium connectivity that Tesla calls it is not so premium. It, it takes a minute for YouTube to load, Netflix sometimes, and then it takes a second for the quality to catch up. For the Spotify, just go to your, your app launcher, click on Spotify, and it requires, like I said, premium connectivity. Automatic headlights, your lights turn on automatically when the windshield wipers are activated and headlights are set to auto. So you do that in controls, you go to lights, and then you go to headlights, so. That's cool, I guess. I won't really, most people won't really notice that too much, but. All right, destination closing soon notification. So this is good for if you're setting to go to like a restaurant, hotel, hotels don't close, but um, a restaurant, some kind of event center, museum, whatever the case may be, this will let you know if that place is closing soon. It will let you know, hey, just so you know, your route's gonna take you 20 minutes to get there. This place closes in 12 minutes, so. Uh, Get on the good foot. Now you have uh, addition to the Bluetooth game controls. Y'all know you could connect a uh, controller and use it in the arcade mode, but I guess they added some updates here. So it says use Bluetooth controllers to play games in arcade. To pair a controller, open the Bluetooth panel and follow the instructions. This feature works best with the PS5 controller, which is great because we have a couple of those. All right, so the camera view on the Tesla app. So this will allow you to use multiple cameras at once not just one at a time, which is great. And it says you can now see multiple cameras at once when checking your vehicle's surroundings. That is awesome. Start using this feature, go to your vehicle settings and controls. So you have to do this in the car. Um, go to safety, then go to view live camera via mobile app. And then you'll be able to see multiple cameras there because if somebody's you know, creeping in your car, they move from one spot to another uh, really quickly. Again, with that premium connectivity or, an, if, or if you don't have signal on your phone, or in the Wi-Fi area, whatever the case is. It'll be nice to view multiple cameras at once instead of waiting on that next camera to load if you're really trying to check something out. So that's good. And then last but not least, warmer display colors. So it says set your touchscreen for automatically adjust to warmer colors at night. Um, it just helps with visibility when you're kind of looking at stuff. And all you have to do is go to controls, go to display, and then reduce blue light. 
that would be good. But yes, that's pretty much all the uh, information you need to know with the latest Tesla uh, update that was released, the software update. So uh, enjoy these features. I always love to get a new software update. It's like a Christmas present from Tesla. Um, so I deeply enjoy these. So hopefully you guys can get out there, utilize these, and just continue to enjoy being a Tesla owner. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.